Alright, what's so up guys? We're going to be moving on with the tier list going into mid-tier. As some of the commenters have pointed out, yes, this was made pre-shine. I don't think I would change Robin too much. Like, Ro Robin and Sonic are both kind of the outliers here. But, like, I still think mid-tier characters are pretty dang strong in this game. So, right. you know, Ken messing stuff up. I'm not sure of the Robin's name, I'll find it out, but... Characters in this game are all threats. I'll reiterate, I almost lost to a Kirby. Like, you can't take any of these characters lightly. And pretty much what that means, this game's pretty balanced. That's yeah. why. Let's move on. Let's find out this game's balance from my own opinion. And, yeah. So, starting off the next area, the next tier, mid-tier. Character people probably thought would be in this tier. Little Mac. Right, and I mean, a lot of people in the previous video, like, the, the comments were like, wow, Little Mac is getting to mid-tier, and I mean, it's just because of that one Japanese tournament. Yes. Right? Solo Little Mac, I believe, got, like, 13th or 17th. It's so really hard to get, like, 13th at a major tournament. Right. With, like, 500 entrants with a pretty not-so-great character. And, again, like, this goes, you know, Robin. Right, can. so Robin might be interchangeable between, like, <clears throat> mid-tier and low mid-tier, but... This this is essentially don't think of this as like a huge gap. Yeah, it's a very small gap. It's a very small gap. As mid tier is a very large amount of characters and it's pretty easy to interchange between these tiers, but I think there's a clear difference between this tier, which is bottom of mid and low tier, and upper mid going into high tier. Yeah. So Little Mac earning his spot thanks to Japanese Little Mac player that got thirteenth at an A tier, which is pretty insane. Yeah, Solo Mac. This character, very uh, very strong on the ground, obviously. He has a bunch of armor effects on his smash attacks, and he also has, you know, like, trample effects, which essentially means, like, if you throw out an attack and Little Mac throws an attack, his attack will go over yours and trample over yours. He just died, dude. Yeah. I, so. I, I, I still hate fighting Little Mac. I circle camped a Little Mac at Smash Con, and I had no shame. Next, <laughs> <laughs> we have um, Corrin. The young corn. Yeah, I mean, pretty much a very huge step down from Smash 4. Lost a lot of things. Um, did receive some buffs as of late, so the recovery got a, recovery a lot Recovery being way better is like such it's a huge. big deal. Yeah, because that was bad. Like, her recovery was really, really bad. But for the most part, still a very solid, like, disjoint character. Yeah. Nair is still a very good option to land with. Um, Pin being the main thing that got hit. It's just it's, not as safe. It's not too great yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's not safe anymore. It's it's still, like, powerful, and you do have... They gave you mix-ups. So, like, instead of it being spammable and safe, now you have mix-ups. You can actually cancel it. Right. It's, so, like, it's nice. That That's pretty nice, but overall, like, still not too prominent in the meta. Still can be a pretty decent pocket pick. I know Cosmos brings it out here and there in yeah, tournaments. Character still like does most of the same stuff, but doing the same stuff in this game... It's is not that good anymore. Right. And your main neutral tool not being safe anymore is a yes. very, very big deal. Next, we'll have the first Shoto, Ryu. I feel like, like, I actually feel like the reason I have him here is everybody's just playing Ken, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ryu is weak in a sense where his main, like, the main thing about Ryu that's better than Ken is his projectile, so his like Hadoukens are better, but then Hadoukens are just generally mediocre projectiles. So you sacrifice speed for like I, I don't know if he's heavier, but uh, like he's I know um, like the base of his some of his stuff is a little stronger. I feel like his Nair is better. Yeah, and then like his Hadouken is better, but like for the most part, I feel like Ken is just better in a game where like. You can you being camped out is a very likely thing if you're slow. Yeah. So like at least he, Ken like Ken no one wants to it. fight the shotos. Yeah. Nobody wants to be in boxing range of these shotos. And Ryu kind of just he can take it slower. Well, right. Ken can wrap it up once he gets in. Right. And like especially like the side B being a gap closer for Ken, like if you hit a oh, side B guess, with yes. Ryu, it's like it's more of like a kill move or just hits them away. But yes. like Ken, he side B's and, and like you end up next you to him. You have to guess. Yes, you have to take a guess, right? It, it's essentially like a gap closer that if you hit it, you your reward is, oh, we're in boxing range. I know there's some percents where you combo, but for the most part, you get in boxing range. So 
That's why I would put Ryu here. I think Ken is just overall better in the current meta. Like, speed is such a big deal, right? That and just random sure you can kill us. I think his up air is probably bigger. Ryu's up air is better for juggling, but if Ken hit you with a straight up air, you, can you, you know they're mashing sure you. Right, right. You could just die. And then even just like Ken Shoryu being able to like anti air because Ryu's you have to hit the base of it, whereas Ken you hit you just gotta hit the end of it. That's where it goes. Yes, yes, so. exactly. Like so be, three calling boxes. out jumps is amazing with Ken over Ryu. Yeah, that's why it works. Yes. Very, very good. Alright. Next we'll have the young Villy. You know, I actually lost to a villager. Yes, yes. Bobby Wasabs. Bobby Wasabs, man, and I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I just generally think Pichu loses the like floaties oh, yeah, types. Yeah. But, but we're not talking about matchups. We're talking about Villager, right? So Vill Villager has given me trouble since Smash Four, not necessarily as like a player, but like Villager has some stuff. Yeah. Lloyd is a very good Lloyd and Pocket, along with Fair, kind of solidifies him as like a strong zoner. Right. But the crazy thing is. Axe is really fast. Narada shield is ridiculous. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Like, he's kind of like think of him as like a mini snake, where he has tools to camp and he has tools to box you out, quite right. literally. But his recovery is pretty lackluster, and his like specifically right outside of near range, that mid range is really bad. Right, and even uh. I actually felt like in Smash 4 he was a high tier, but the big changes that like mm. bump him really low DLC. are well, like DLC messed him up, and then on top of that, like Dare came out extremely quick in Smash 4, so it was oh. a great anti juggling tool. You had to worry about Nair and Dare, and then uh, and Jab. The fact that they actually gave his jab a finisher in this game, it actually makes it worse because in Smash 4, a villager could jab your shield and just push you away and then that just stop. Spot. Right, and then just stop. And it was safe. And then villager could also like confirm jab 1-2 into like axe and stuff like that. Mm, at later percents. At later percents, yes. He was, in my opinion, he was a lot better character in Smash 4. But um, Lloyd is still a very, very strong tool in terms of stopping your momentum. And on top of that, it, he's just... He's stronger against other projectile characters because you can set up the Lloyd and run in with it, and that's yes. a very good setup to like beat out some charge character moves. Like just, it's like this pretty much you're setting it's up a projectile wall. that like blocks another projectile. Yes. So he can be very strong in other like zoner versus zoner matchups. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, like, yeah it's a very good tool. I, I like that he's in the game. I don't like losing him, but I like that he's in the game. <laughs> All right, next it's gonna be my boy, Ridley. I feel so. He he has everything. He's almost there. Yeah, but he just doesn't have enough of it. Like he kind of has combos. He has yeah. a command grab that can kill. He has a pretty good. I'll call it decent. He has a decent projectile, but like, there's just not enough. His air mobility sucks. His up B sucks. His recovery did get buffed. Yes. So the command grab did get buffed as well. Thank God. So like, it actually kills kind yes. of. Um, but yeah, the recovery was really bad. It's his, still kind of bad. His weight sucks. Yeah. I, there's so many things that suck about him. And when I always explain Ridley to somebody that wants to like pick him up seriously and competitive, Ridley feels like such a great character when you're hitting somebody. But when you're getting hit, oh, it's yeah, like yeah. polar opposite. It's like so bad. And the pros and the cons usually don't weigh each other out. Um this character does have the range, but yeah, like you said, it's just, it's still, they, they did buff him. The up air buff was really good for juggling. That, I think that was crazy. That was a really a good, good buff. buff. Um, so the buffs are there, and I think Nintendo's on the right track. I think Ridley needs a little bit more, though. Um, like I said, it's just being so big and so light, it's just, it can be really rough for this character. So this character di definitely did move up for from our previous tier list, uh, but I, I still think it, he could use some more buffs. Oh, for sure. It's just it's scary. I always tell people it's scary to buff characters with multiple jumps because yeah, you don't yeah. really know. Great directional air dodge. Really, oh, yeah. one of the best directional air dodges. He looks that's, pretty cool too. Yeah. So I mean that that's a plus too. But yeah, there he's just gonna. There's gonna be some matchups where if you can always get the hits and not get hit, like yeah. you, you'll feel invincible with this character. But it's then, so hard to get in on him. Yeah. But once you get in, like no combo breaker. Jumps kind of suck. Air mobility kind of sucks. So he's, he's not. He's not gonna run away from you. Yeah. Bad it, out of shield option. He has nair. Nair's not bad. It's not it's that bad. Tight. It's pretty. It's pretty. Big. It's, it's pretty mid tier. 
next <laughs> on the list. Um, where where is he? Actually, where is he? Oh, hero. Smack dab, middle of mid tier, huh? He's yeah. I just playing him like a good amount. You just you just I don't know, man. I don't know what some other people see in him. I see the good RNG in terms of like his strength as a character, but minus the good RNG is like pretty mid tier character. Yeah. And I I'm I do bad. like for me personally I feel like the character is very lackluster. I don't feel like menu getting pulled up in uh in like neutral is like even really a threat because yes. you just jump. Like his his advantage state is is great. Insane. Yes. His good. neutral is kind of you yeah. have things to be desired and his disadvantage is eh I, I do understand some people's like thinking about it. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh, if you camp the character, uh, he gets to buff himself up, which is really nice. But uh, and then like when you do win neutral at around like the mid percent yeah. and greater, You're you have crazy advantage, advantage state, state because yeah. you can pull the menu and stuff like that. So I do understand that. But there's other characters that have crazy good advantage states, but then their disadvantage states don't justify yes. it. Yes. Ridley being a perfect example of that, where it's like you have great advantage state. But like you can't just like it has to outweigh your disadvantage some way yes. somehow, and I don't feel like Hero's advantage state outweighs his disadvantage state because he has bad air mobility, he has bad run speed, his bad recovery aerials. actually like sucks. Like it's bad for recovering. His recovering is good for edge guarding, but it's not good for actually recovering. The, the fact that you have to charge it too is pretty, pretty unlucky. You have no hitbox coming up too. It's like it's hit me. Like I think the scary thing is like you have to keep in mind how much mp you have recovering too it's like robin's books yeah but like you can just it's 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 not as like diverse in what angles you can pick right it's like did you up be here like anywhere in this area and that's kind of it like you're gonna go at the same arc for the most part right if you had if you had like a combo breaker that wasn't air dodge i'd be more inclined to like put him higher kind right, of the right. same thing as like ridley like if you don't have a common breaker that's not air dodge it's a lot harder yeah it's a, it's a really tough argument to break it it your consistency levels just go get hit really hard because yeah. what do you do when you're getting hit because newsflash like you will get hit <laughs> you will get put on defense you will lose neutral so what are your options when you're in that situation and that's where a uh, hero really falls off right? yeah imagine if like he got hit and he could pull out like, a defensive command list yeah like, like it, while he's you getting could, hit he just he's looking through yeah, his like, menu it, maybe like shulk like shulk can pull up monados while on hit stun if hero could like pull up menu during hit stun that'd be crazy They'd be broken yeah like you're just mashing, actually broken mashing. yeah then, then mashing down beat would be a problem but as it stands it's not and that's why he's here yeah next on the list we have mewtwo you know actually character kind of receiving some buffs right so yes. kind of like in that same boat as ridley um i mean you you played some mewtwo right after the patch dropped right so i think how'd you feel about i think he's a lot better than this i just think I just think nobody wants to play him because you die to really, really dumb things. Right. Like, even post-patch, they didn't reduce the length of the tail. They reduced the width. Oh, so it doesn't matter. It kind doesn't, of, like, it it doesn't matters. really matter. Yeah. Like, it kind of matters, but it doesn't really matter. Right. And where dashing is such a prominent thing, if your character's dash away option, like, if you yes. dash right towards the opponent and then you dash left and you're dashing away animation your tail is, bad. is like near them you like get you're the whole point of dashing away is to like get out of the way of your opponent so you can go back in and whiff punish them so like <laughs> mewtwo actually makes it worse when he's dashing away which is not a good thing because yes. dashing away to set up a whiff punish is a very very if not the most common situation in this game and if your characters like animations are bad for said situation we have a problem. It sucks because his dash is so good. Yeah, it's a good dash. If his tail wasn't there. If the like the animation yeah. wasn't bad. And then it also goes back to he he kinda has combo breakers. His nair is not what it used to be. His side B is not what it used to be. His air dodge is definitely not what it used to be. But it's so good. Yeah. But end of the day, the biggest hindrance to him is 
why is he so light and so easy to hit yes like even like that it's that like really it's a combo <laughs> yeah it's not a good combo so it's another case where he has really good advantage stuff when he hits you it feels really good puts you on the ledge feels really good and you have full shadow ball but when you're getting hit you're afraid of dying and you're afraid of getting hit by moves that shouldn't hit you right and like just his combo game taking a really big hit it's just like this Essentially, in Smash 4, it was worth it because he was like a glass cannon zoner. Yeah, he'd blow you up. Right, he'll blow you up, plus he had like zoning abilities. So like, he had a really good mix of stuff and it felt really balanced. But in this game, it just, he doesn't really have that combo game off of zoning you. Like, yeah. he could be like zoning you in Smash 4 with down tilt and then like combo off of it. Like, oh, I'm zoning you in a safe distance. Oh, let me combo off of it too. Like, that's not a thing anymore. So you're, you're this glass cannon without like the cannon. You're just glass. Yes, pretty unlucky pretty bad that's not i would not right. want to be a part of that next we have another pokemon incineroar yeah um very solid character we've seen uh people get some wins with I this character like we always see representation from incineroar and that's that's a good thing for a character you know? yeah uh down tilt at ledge very very strong really good for two framing and catching people hanging on the ledge too long you can combo down tilt into forward tilt Forward tilt having no sour spots. A yeah, yeah, very just solid. Blows you up. Yeah, very solid confirm. Uh, this character has insane aerials. I, I like to explain this character as like an aerial little Mac. Like his aerials <laughs> are so strong, and he has, and he also has like really good ground game too, in terms of like his hitbox, like his tilts and stuff. But I mean, it's just another case of like crazy advantage state hits really hard. He has a lot of great pluses, but the negatives are so negative. It's why he's here. Yes. Um, I'm he, glad. Yeah, he'd thank be, goodness. He'd be a really scary, good character. Yeah, the, the recovery, obviously very sus. Um, bad movement speed and air speed. Yes. Um, so that also hits your recovery and your neutral. A lot of characters can just camp this character out. Uh, just He really has to work to get in there. Yeah. Because it, he's so slow. If he had a better recovery or if he was faster on the ground, this character would be so scary. Like, it, would, it might actually be unfair. So... Uh, yeah, I he mean, his revenge. <laughs> that yeah. moves nuts. So I mean, it, it's it's really hard to buff this character because this character, if even if you buff him a little bit, he might jump so high up it could be polarizing. Yeah. So um, I I'm not too sure where Nintendo wants to go with this character, but I mean I, I think he's at a decent spot yeah, right now. He could probably use like a little bit of tiny buffs. Like I would increase his speed just maybe a little bit or maybe his <laughs> air speed just a little bit. But like you gotta make sure you're careful with it because like we said, th this yes. character is can already be polarizing. Um, and if you make him too good, it, it can be really rough. Next up we have where is he? Oh there he is. Ganon. A lot of people might think I have him too low here, but yeah. I just the recovery, man. Yeah, people have been getting better at the game. Yeah. And because of that, Ganon has been Ganon. He's yeah. been getting Ganon. Early meta, everyone's running at each other. Everyone wants to hit somebody and then people are like, falling for the spot dodges. Yeah, and then nobody's people like are letting the air dodge from the blast zone like get away with for free right like directional air dodge off stage like that's a free hit yes. hit him <laughs> and a lot of people are getting more accustomed to that um and either just camping this character out or edge guarding him harder and that's where he's going to start falling off when he can't really like it's troublesome for him to get in and yeah i mean he still has like great hit boxes when he does get in it's devastating he can still kill you 50 uh, probably like some of the best smash attacks in the game in actually terms of like, yeah like in terms of how much area it takes up and like how much hit stuns it have space that's safe on block kills you absurdly early so still has some stuff but pretty much just like camping and the edge guarding is where this character really takes a big hit exactly i'm sure everybody knows everybody watches a lot of ganon yeah i just again like mid tier is scary in this game Oh yeah, mid tiers like, on stage. Mid tiers are I not respect, bad in this game. I respect yes. all these characters on stage, even the low tiers. Right? Yes. So like, I'm not even trying to say again, it's not the hotness because he he kind of is, if you want me to be honest. But he's just not the hotness, you know. Right. It's like we're he's we're definitely always, fallen from grace. We're talking about uh, consistency in a tournament environment. Yeah. I mean, Offline tournament environment. People lame this guy out, dude. Yes. He doesn't deserve this. He's just trying to rule the world. <laughs> so, next up we have... Dude, it's actually hard to find characters. 
Lucas. I think this character is way better than this, but I'm just like. You're I'm like, not or, seeing it. Right, 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 yeah. Like it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, I actually think this of the character, but like the results aren't showing. Exactly. Yeah. This yeah. character's like scary. Yeah, PK Fire is a very good horizontal spacing move. He has um, really like, fast tilts. Yeah. Smash tags aren't too shabby. PK is, Freeze, very strong oh, yeah. and tool, kill move. Uh even has like the Zare thing. The Zare thing across the stage, like you do like double jump Zare and yeah. you cancel it and you can like chain it across the stage. It's like pretty good, but it's pretty hard to do and it's essentially getting chic fared across the stage where it's like, eh, it's yeah, a 15. Yeah, but it's way yeah. harder. It's like, he, he, has, he has Dare stuff against some characters. Ooh, yes, the Dare spike setups are very yes, good for like, this character. Very, very I good. I was playing Pink Fresh's Lucas. Oh yeah, you're probably watching. He's yeah. got Dared at like, so like 60 and I'm just dead. Right, and you, you've played, you fought this turn, character in tournament as well. Yes. At Smash Con. I fought him a lot in Smash uh, 4. Choco Taco, I believe his name. Yeah, I yeah. think so, I think so. He was really good. But yeah, th this character does have some setups and like just some of the base mechanics of the game, like you can't tech grounded spikes, makes like dare out of shield or like comboing into dare into something else, yeah. like very, very strong. Like in comparison to Smash 4, he's not as combo based, but his moves overall are just like pretty solid right like i think does do you know if down smash gets weaker per down smash in this game that i don't know oh i know it hits shield on all three yeah i think yeah in smash 4 it would only hit shield once that i'm not too sure I'm, I, I think i think so might have yeah, yeah i might be wrong but i think so but for sure, it hitting shield three times in this game like it's a lot let's of say like you're trying to get and off shield the ledge is not good in this game yeah <laughs> So Lucas in this game is definitely like, in my opinion, better than what he was, but I'm still not seeing it. So for now, we'll leave Lucas here. Let's see what happens in the future. Next up, we have Sam's. Dark Sam's chilling over here. Yeah. And I mean, Samus just, I, I like that. I mean, I personally liked playing Samus more in Smash 4 because I just love to spam dash attack. But she felt like a really weird character in Smash 4 where you had all these projectiles, but you mainly wanted dash attack. So yeah. I think in this game, she's not as good as Smash 4, but they made her more of a projectile character, which like a good. setup, which is nice. I think one of the best changes, obviously, like being able to B reverse the um, neutral B, being able to jump to cancel all charge moves, like that was well, a very good I mean, universal you, change you, for her. You couldn't even charge in the air in Smash 4. Oh yeah, now you can charge in yeah, the air. Yeah, you can first of all charge in the air. Yeah. And I then on top of that, even like one of her missiles, you can shoot the missile and it stalls a little bit, then it shoots. Yeah. So it's kind of like almost like a Lloyd rocket where you're setting up some kind of projectile pressure and then like you set up the missile and then you can like do something else or like shoot another projectile. So uh, I definitely think they made her more of a projectile character. And then that dash attack, they made it slower, but it kills now. So yeah. that's kind of nice. I think the biggest thing is uh, contact bomb. Ooh, and yeah, the down the bomb B is blows good. up on contact. Good. It was not that good in Smash Four. It was very, very setup based, and now you can kind of use it like more on the defense. You yeah. Switch up your air mobility. Throw it out when they're on the ledge. If yeah. You, if you two frame somebody, which is pretty easy because the bomb is just a constant like hitbox. Right. You can combo off of that. Yeah. So definitely got a lot of stuff. Um, still suffers obviously uh, from rushdown characters. Yeah. Uh, you some... don't have an option out of combos. Uh, your ledge options actually aren't that bad, but ledge drops over unfair. It's like the goat option. There's just a lot of characters that, the higher up you go, they have options to deal with that. Yeah, the, as as we climb up the tier list, we get into a lot quicker characters, especially like when you talk about some reflector characters or even like characters like Villager or Spacey's. Samus just has like a decent amount of like really really tough matchups, so it's really hard to. Be successful with her like solo main wise but i yeah. mean we've seen people do it like yb uh joker yeah joker can be city good. yeah no the, the player yeah yeah the player oh player. okay yeah, okay yeah. yeah yeah so like there, <laughs> there there has been players that have found success with this character um but it, it, it's still pretty rough pretty hard to do our next character is king ddd the penguin man he is a lot better in this game he he was yeah. arguably bottom three in smash four it's pretty bad so he he's definitely on the come up three frame jump squat and just low lag aerials across the board makes him really good because he can just get away from people yeah especially when he lands like in smash four i'd just be like oh ddd's landing like like free every time 
It's pretty sad. Yeah. I, I remember when the game like uh, was going to come out, and I, I, was, I really wanted Didi to be good because uh, I made him in Brawl, but... He uh, one of the main things they gave him was his like neutral B being a reflector and being able to suck the gore oh, up and shoot yeah. it out. And I actually thought it was super mediocre. I didn't think it was gonna be good, but it's actually a really big part of why this reason this character is even in mid tier. Yes, because you can just like one, you just have a reflector. Exactly, so, like, that's a big deal. You just force people to not aimlessly spam on you. Right, and then like if people try to come into your Gordo area, you can like set up the Gordo and then start sucking. And if they shield, you'll suck them. And then if they like try to hit the Gordo at you, like you'll just you suck the Gordo eat, back. Eat the Gordo and yes. shoot it back, and it actually like can kill people. So um, that change was very very big for DDD, and one of the one of the bigger reasons why he's here in mid tier now, but can still suffer against characters that kind of like just camp him out. Um, DDD is very he, good in a sense when you have to come into his Gordo yes. area, but when he has to come into your area, which is almost all the time. Yes, <laughs> it, it can be pretty hard, but he is the second fastest faller in the game, and he is a super heavy, so it can be very difficult to kill this character, especially off the top, um, and even just in general because he's so heavy. So he can he can definitely make a lot of rage comebacks, especially yeah. with certain like Gordo setups on the ledge and stuff like that, kill you at fifty maybe with like a smash attack setup. But he d definitely has some stuff, but very very difficult. Um, this character gets comboed super super hard, so. Yeah, the, the, it just depends on the archetype of characters he's fighting. Yeah, it can work out, but it's not too likely. Yeah. Next up, we'll have Zelda. I'm actually surprised, I think, so highly of Zelda. <clears throat> yeah, Zelda, an, another character kind of around, like, was in the same boat as DDD in Smash 4. Yeah. Right? So they, uh, I think they made a lot of great changes to Zelda. They made her, like, a... Uh, they kind of took away some of her grab setups, but they gave her a lot of like spellcaster type moves. So she's more like that setup based, kind of like Samus, where they gave her more like projectile exactly. stuff. So now she has the Phantom Knight to set up. Moving with Phantom is actually one of the scariest things. Yeah, it's crazy. That move's very, very good. And I'm glad that they made Phantom like one of her best moves because Sheik's Bouncing Fish is one of her best moves, and that's yes. essentially the two moves they both gained, right? Exactly. So I'm, I'm glad that they made those two moves that they both gained, like, really defy the character. Um, but yeah, and then she has she has some decent, like, boxing options being neutral B. It's a little high committal, but... Jab is way better in this game. Yeah, and Jab's better, too. So they, they gave her a lot of good stuff, but <laughs> can still suffer from some of the things that she it suffered is. in the previous iteration. Ledge options are bad. Uh... It's like it, it can it can just be hard for Zelda when Zelda has to be the one going in, and when Zelda has to be the one not going in, it's like Ph Phantom is good, but Phantom's more of an advantage state kind of move. I right. feel using Phantom in neutral can make you get punished pretty easily, so you're stuck playing neutral without having like super solid aerials or like super solid like tilts per se. And if you get to like mid to long range neutral, you're good, but a lot of characters can force the closer interactions. Right.